गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सौरभ राउत रे सेकंड ईयर जूनियर रेसिडेंट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डायग्नोसिस एट बीएस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस एंड रिसर्च बुरला उड्स आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट अ केस रिपोर्ट ऑन रेडियोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ क्लिपल फिल सिंड्रोम इंट्रोडक्शन क्लिपल फिल सिंड्रोम इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स डिसऑर्डर दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्जेनिटल फ्यूजन ऑफ सर्विकल कॉर्टिकल एंड द पेशेंट प्रेजेंट्स विद ट्रायड ऑफ शॉर्ट नेक लिमिटेशन ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ हेड एंड नेक एंड लो पोस्टर हेयर लोड It is estimated to occur in about one in forty thousand to forty-two thousand, and females are slightly more predisposed than males. It was first reported by Clifford Lanfield in nineteen hundred twelve. This syndrome results as a failure of normal segmentation of cervical tumors during third to eighth gestation. Uh, Clifford Lanfield syndrome is a complex disorder and uh, involves many such anomalies like scoliosis, sprinkle deformity, renal anomalies, deafness, spina bifida, congenital heart disease, and cleft palate. Uh, case description: We have a 16-year-old female that presents with the complaints of stiff neck, painless deformity of neck and shoulder, along with decreased range of movement of neck since birth. Antenatal history is uneventful. It was a full term normal delivery at home. No intervention during delivery. No history of any partial trauma. On examination, she was having good build, short in height, short neck, low posterior hairline, along with deformed shoulder and chest wall, and scoliosis to left was also noted. There are no complaints of any hearing anomalies or any other neurological symptoms. With this clinical background, the patient was subjected to radiological investigation that includes X-ray and CT scan. Uh, coming to X-ray, this is the chest X-ray, erect PAB, showing a high-riding uh, right scapula along with scoliotic changes, and multiple fused and deformed areas can also be seen. This is a sagittal X-ray, uh, CT scan in bone window, showing multiple fused cervical and thoracic vertebrae. Range from C6 to T4, along with fusion of posterior elements of spine. This is a 3D CT scan, back side, showing spinal deformity on right side, and multiple fused spinal processes. Note here the high riding right scapula and multiple fused spinal processes. Similarly, this is a 3D CT scan of frontal view, showing multiple fused ribs, bifid ribs, and note the absence of first rib. This is a CT scan in bone window in coronal section showing scoliotic changes. This is axial CT scan at the level of T1 showing hemi vertebrae and absence of first rib in right side. Left side rib is normally presented. Now this is the axial CT scan at level of C6 showing bifid spinous process. This is the axial uh, CT scan and the 3D CT scan. Showing non-fusion of posterior sacral elements resulting in a spina bifida. It can be clearly appreciated in this description. Now coming to diagnosis and management, this case was diagnosed as a case of Clifford Field syndrome with supportive radiological findings. As our case was not having any neurological or any other systemic involvement, she was advised for conservative management. Exercise of neck and shoulder was advised five to six times a day. A corrective cervical follower was also prescribed. Coming to differential diagnosis. They include ankylosing spondylitis, coronary dystrophitis, and juvenile diabetic arthritis. Most of them can present with few cervical vertebrae. This person, uh, the important symptoms and anomalies are usually revealed incidentally in radiological examination in mild cases. The patient may develop neurological symptoms that are secondary to degenerative disc disease, spiral instability from hypermobility or foot trauma, and spinal stenosis can occur later in decreasing life. Patient clinical field symptoms should be assessed for asymmetric system in anomalies, distal cervical fusion, and such cases should be identified and treated at early age to minimize cosmetic and social stigma to the patient. Here are my references. Thank you.